Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well today. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. And unfortunately we will be looking at a minor in this case, so be aware. All cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. And today I'm looking at the case of Carly Gregg who was 14 at the time of an alleged murder of her mom and attempted murder of her father. Now, what's always struck me as curious in general is what pushes a child to kill their parents? So I'm going to take a look and in this case I will start leading up to the event and we'll look at the event after the fact. Um, and of course the only time I'll be reviewing children is if they are involved in a crime whether victim or perpetrator. Um, so let's have a look here. I'm going to start pulling out the numbers I already prepared March 19 to so I get a rhythm. So I'm just going to um, pull the numbers out first before we get into the nitty gritty. But it's really heartbreaking when a child reverts to that, especially at a young age. 14, you shouldn't be thinking of committing heinous crimes towards your parents. And of course, we can all agree that's because your parent doesn't make you a saint. But let's reserve judgment. No judgment. Let's get a sense of what happened here. So March 17, we see a problem here. Look here. March 17, we got the 22. There's an outburst. Particularly when you're dealing with um, close contact crimes, or let's put it this way, with family, friends, um, partner, there's always emotional outbursts. And unfortunately, we have an anomaly year of eights. Very aggressive, violence, lots of swearing, words going on, explosion in the house. With all those eights detrimental. All right, let's do the day before. And I thought we'll look at the day that she was charged as well and see if we pick up any similarities or confirmations all right so there we go 19 we're going to take this one well slowly but with the focus of not being um, looking for the obvious I want to just see what's going on here I'm already getting a sense that we might need to go a bit more back so let's have a look here see this is not a good number here The, the, it's fair to say, by looking at the 16-7, I'm going to orange flag it. It's fair to say that young Carly is not a serial killer, right? So what is the 16-7 doing here? And it's not 12, 13, 14, 15, 16-7 won't be in the zone here in terms of reflection. So why is the 16-7 year? 
and that's why I believe we may need to go back a bit because this also talks to serial behavior serial behavior repetitive behavior Repetitive behavior. But let's have a look here. 1910 See, these are nasty numbers here. Eh? When you're dealing with a young child and a family situation, and of course, I will exercise discernment in terms of what I reveal, and I won't be going looking intentionally, that's for sure. Um, This is this is not a good day here. Yeah, decisions are made, yeah. Decisions are made because of sixteen seven. So he has the decision to kill. A decision with an outcome. So of course murder, but premeditated murder now talking about premeditated murder now of course this is obvious in a sense that well I suppose not obvious there could have been a situation that triggered the event so it becomes what is it second degree I'm not familiar with the legal terms but there's definitely a plan here 22 4 Because of a feminine outburst, this nineteen ten also says something else. Eh? Now, I'm going to flag it. It is on the event day, of course, but this tells me transactional. Also. There's a transactional element involved here. And on event March 19, look at all the threes. This is all about out of control. Three in the positive on one aspect is about being in control three is about control and when you have these amount of threes it's out of control so the situation yeah although there might have been a plan we have a out of control nature here as well like wild. Take a pardon, let me just sort this block out here. Alright, so let's go deeper. We'll go deeper. We may need to go back a bit here. Alright, so what I'm going to do, we will have a look at that charge sequence as well uh, this is happening real time for me as well I haven't looked at anything I did it like a pre meditation situation uh, while I'm preparing so let's just go back some more we need to get a bigger picture here and of course, being family, this goes on forever, right? We can go as far back as we want. But let's just try to get a sense of leading up to the event, because it will reveal itself. So unfortunately, there is another nasty number in the context of a child. 15.6, we'll get there. Let me, let's confirm. Let's confirm. 
It is early morning in South Africa, May 9, 7, 12 a.m. Um, I had prepared this uh, the evening before. Um, but just a slight warning, the neighbor's kids are waking up. <laughs> um, and they and quiet. So let's see here, uh, 26. Oof. You see, once we, once you keep watching these crime shows, uh, you start seeing the usual suspects. So look here, March 15, we got a very aggressive day here as well, hey? Eh? Out of balance day here as well. Look at all these eights. And we're in an eight year, so the, the impact is even more so. This is a profound impact here, huh? Look at all those eights. This is not good. So let's look at it this way in the context of a child, right? A child is in a household. And of course, every family has their ups and downs and their moments. Yes, that's normal-ish, right? It's always how you deal with it. But also, the temperature inside the household, is it one of loving, caring? Is it about nurturing, growing, teaching? Or is it one of abuse, violence, anger, do you know what I mean? And of course, for kids growing up, it is absolutely critical, as we may agree, that a stable environment is suitable. Now, we all have our ups and downs. We yet to find the perfect family, but in the main, you want to keep the tone and temperature in the household one of harmony, Peace, loving, nurturing, growing. And the case of... Which case did I do recently? Haley Dunn. Young child growing up in a household with the overflow of drugs and abuse, right? And ended in her murder. Because she was going to talk and she's had enough. So already on March 15, that 15-6 is not a good sign around children. Dirty old man. Okay, we're going to have to go a bit more back. Now the reason why I'm not doing it like a typical sequence of a calendar is because if I go from March 16, I can just go to March 15 and see the flow directly instead of having to look across the board. So, a little bit of lateral movement happening. 17, 8. Oof. See, there's another imbalance of 8s here, this poor child. This poor child. Lots of aggro in the house. There's another nasty pedo number. 14.5. Triple eights. A familiar number around crime situations in families, 25-7. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, there's our confirmation. Unfortunately. 16-7. Constant abuse to a young child. Yeah. Sixteen 
16.7, we got, this is, I expressed this in the Gabby Petita case. And I will be um, going through the emotional markers in the Gabby Petita case this Saturday, May 11, if you're watching before. Details are available on my webpage. Uh, but we're going to go through and mark out the emotional markers. Now, what came up in the Gabby Petita case was also the 16.7. And it talks about repetitive behavior. Repetitive bad behavior. Now, I just want to get out of the imbalance of eights here. Let's look at the day before. Oof. We've got cycles happening here. We're actually currently in it now. So yesterday in the middle of the day was a 13.4. Today is the outcome 13.4. So whatever we're dealing with currently... Don't expect it to be completed immediately, but it's like a process, right? It will be. It can be completed tomorrow. Make sure it's thorough. Make sure it's done properly. And we are out of retro. I would even say out of the shadow. Nine, 18 days, definitely. Yeah. Fifteen, six. Jesus, all the pedo classic numbers around, ladies and gentlemen. 15.6 all over the place, 14.5 all over the place, 14.5 all over the place. This was almost obvious, isn't it? Oof. So what happens here? So of course we've got this terrible environment for Kali. Twenty four six in the household. Familiar in the household. I'm looking for a shift in mindset from Carly's perspective. Or well, this might even be, or, or is this already entrenched before, even a week before? Because that's the sense I'm getting. So here's the outburst, yeah. Here's a big blowout, yeah. Twenty six eight. That's here. Uh, March fifteen. Now, notwithstanding the abuse you would have ex experienced before, but what I'm getting to is the compound effect, right? So, defense compound effect of abuse of a minor. What does that do to a child, to any human being? That you have to resort to extreme violence because you're living in extreme violence. What's that saying? Monkey see, monkey do. So if they can be violent and grotesque, why can't I be violent and grotesque? That must be normal, right? So March, so yeah, March 15 to me is the final straw day. Yeah. So March 15. The issue here is, and I'm sorry to, I'm not going to be graphic, but there's something you should know on this day. 
that the the day starts with the issue. Fifteen six. So when she's opened her eyes, the issue's already there. And it's in this moment. There's the murder number. Thoughts of murder. I'm gonna kill you. Big blowout. Twenty six eight. So that when we get to March 16, another warning day, yeah. Because I'm actually seeing this ends in death, yeah. When did the kid, the parents actually die? Or is it the story on, on uh, allegedly as the, I got some context on March 19, is that when the friend arrives? And Carly shows her the museum pieces. Because over here, well, you see, here's an 18 9 year. Yeah, it's probably March. Well, listen, March 16, decisions, yeah, definitely. So let's just say if it wasn't. If it was not March 16, then definitely March 18, early morning situation. You woke me up early in the morning. Now I'm going to wake you up early in the morning. Beg your pardon, yeah. Let me just sort this out quickly. Yeah. What also convinces me is the 21-3, because that's holding them against their will, right? But but definitely there it's it's done. In my early days when I started the channel I wanted to do a series on kids that kill because obviously I suppose with adults we all wonder are we born are we naturally born killers? But I'm a, I'm a believer of the nurture element because no one is born evil. But if your life is surrounded by horrible deeds by the people that care for you, then you that's who you are or that's who you become. And that then perpetuates the cycle of abuse. And now we have a young 14-year-old, uh, Carly, her life is done. And not done in the sense that, look, she could get released in whenever, but I'm saying this impact, this will impact her for the rest of the life. It's not, it's something you can work through and deal with, but it's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. So let's, let's jump to the, after the situation here. Yeah? And get a sense of what was happening. So March 20. Um, Twenty. So lots of emotions going around. Twenty three five. Thirty one four, there's the the decomposition. Thirteen four. Not good. Well, I'm getting a feeling was this an overnight -a thing? Correctly, yeah. This is a bigger part in ten one twenty eight ten one. Now you see this, he has a big blot, yeah. So 
So March 17, beg your pardon. Uh, March 17, there's a big blowout here. Very big. We got the unstable eights, imbalance of eights. There's just out of control emotional outbursts with the 20 big fighting arguments. I'm more convinced now that the deed would have been done perhaps March 18 overnight morning. Falls uh, 33, 24. So family related, 100%. There's that 21, 3 family related, 24, 6. Family, familiar. permission to say what I'm about to say. The 24-6, okay, so bigger pardon, March 21, and it's this double number here, 32-5, this is not good, brace yourselves. Thirty-two five fourteen five combo. Now, let me just and it's confirmed here as well. Now I'm going to say. Remember, I spoke about this nineteen ten one as being transactional. Here's it here nineteen ten one being transactional. This thirty-two five fourteen five is telling me transactional with dirty old men by family members get the picture come round for a beer today Johnny and bring your wallet I serve beer and my daughter March 22, 25-7, that all familiar family, familiar side situation. Murder, because dirty old men, 15-6. Six, the gun, the bullet, the shot. So here we have a murder within the family because of fifteen six dirty old men. Transactional. Transactional. It's present on the day. It's present in the lead up. And 
and the 32.5 is the breaking up of the pedo group because who's ever at the till accepting the cash is no longer around and their object of desire is now in jail so the 32.5 is the breakup of the pedo group 14.5 Older men, younger children, older women, younger children. Have you noticed the increase in female teachers engaging their students, high schools, high school students lately? Um, if you ever asking or wondered why I put the band over her eyes, I see in the media she's fully exposed, right? You can see her face. Of course, you can see in court. Even though she's committed a crime, well, in South Africa anyway, you still aren't supposed to reveal the identity of the child because she's a minor. So why did that happen? Also an interesting point. So twenty five seven internal. Now this is the unfortunate situation, isn't it? That we have a young child whose life has been ruined. So let's just look at April 16 quickly. I'm not going to do the whole... I don't believe I need to do the whole thing because I think the, the day that this happens is already confirmed. So April 16... Just move this off here. Let's go in a bit. April 16... So 16-7, there's that number. There's a hidden emotional outburst. So of course hidden... Grace, uh, Carly, beg your pardon, Carly is a young child in the behind the closed doors of the house, so th her anguish and that has been hidden due to an unlawful act. Of a transactional nature, so unlawful act which she verbalized. She verbalized, and where did we say she verbalized? 26-8 there, March 15. There's the 28-10 year as well. So it reflects, in fact, let me bring that date here rather. Look how it reflects the, the one of the days here. So I'll just, oh goodness, beg your pardon. Look how uh, April 16, that's the charge day, reflects here, 20, 22, 28, 10, 1. Reflects here. Out of control situation, big emotional outburst, I'm not doing this anymore. Outburst, arguments, fighting. All about money. Sixteen seven, serial nature. Nineteen ten one, all of transactional natures, ladies and gentlemen. This poor child was being. in her own home so the police need to investigate that the perp uh, the defense team need to look at what were the circumstances within this household bring the people to justice there's other people involved here who frequented the house
and let Carly tell her story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not a very pleasant situation for a child, unfortunately. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do engage with your comments. And uh, please stay safe, stay alert, and I'll see you in the next one.